மூச்சு ஏனடா என் கண்ணா கண்ணா மூச்சு ஏனடா என் கண்ணா நான் கண்ணாடி பொருள் போலடா கண்ணா மூச்சு ஏனடா என் கண்ணா நான் கண்ணாடி பொருள் போலடா அந்த நதியின் கரையை நான் கேட்டேன் அந்த காற்றை நிறுத்தியும் கேட்டேன் அந்த நதியின் கரையை நான் கேட்டேன் அந்த காற்றை நிறுத்தியும் கேட்டேன் வான்வெளியை கேட்டேன் விடையே இல்லை வான்வெளியை கேட்டேன் விடையே இல்லை இறுதியில் உன்னை கண்டேன் இருதய பூவில் கண்டேன் இறுதியில் உன்னை கண்டேன் இருதய பூவில் கண்டேன் கண்ணா மூச்சி ஏனடா என் கண்ணா நான் கண்ணாடி பொருள் போலடா ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு த செகண்ட் வீடியோ இந்த லெசன் நோன் கிரகபேதம் சீரீஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஈவன் அ லிட்டில் பிட் ஃபெமிலியர் வித் தமிழ் ஃபில் மியூசிக் you should have heard this song uh, it was a massive hit from the film kandukondein kandukondein composed by ar rahman um it's a popular view that it's set in natakurunji uh and a couple of lines in the charanam towards the end shifting to sahana um in fact the makers of the film even wrote that into the script uh in the sequence immediately following the song in the movie um you see um uh, the character major bala played by mamuti uh, appreciating uh, meenakshi uh, played by aishwarya rai uh, for her singing and then he says and the natakurunji le the sahana kumarinadu nalla irundadu or something like that uh, meaning that you know transition from natakurunji to sahana was very good and to that um, a visibly irritated uh, meenakshi uh, replies saying in a ragam ella theriyadu meaning I, i don't know ragas and stuff i empathize more with meenakshi's response than with uh, major bala's view uh, i want to talk about why i think saying that uh, you know you don't know what raga the song is in is a better position to hold than claiming that uh, this is in natakurunji so um before i start just a quick disclaimer um i am not at all saying that there's something wrong with the song as a composition as a song um it's it's a really beautiful song in fact i've spent uh, uh, a long time trying to perfect it and i think chitrama is just so brilliant um the way she sung it so this is not about uh this is not a commentary on the quality of the song so it's it's purely about uh whether this fits the natakurunji uh framework why do i think this is not natakurunji uh, there are three common reasons uh for why one uh claims generally speaking that a song does not fit a particular raga so the first um uh, is um that the song does not match the notes of the scale of a certain raga so maybe it has mo- a lot of uh, extra notes or maybe it's missing some notes so uh, on a pure note level uh, you can say that it's uh, you know the song is not in in this given um, in in a particular raga a second reason may be that the song has all the notes but it's missing some characteristic usages or phrases of the raga to use uh, the carnatic terms uh, the pidis or the prayogams of the raga the associations of some songs to ragas are more problematic than others uh, in fact i've written a whole uh, blog post about this a while ago so um, and i'm linking it here in the description if any of you is interested you can um, read that but basically the point is as follows some ragas uh, you know are such that their scale is you know it doesn't sound dramatically different from the raga from the raga lakshana whereas with some other ragas uh there's hardly any resemblance between the scale and the raga 
So, I mean, it's common knowledge that a raga is more than the sum of its parts. The raga is not, you know, completely defined by its notes. But uh, how different a raga is from the pure notes, the, the scale, uh, varies. So, for instance, uh, to take an extreme case, if you take todi, uh, the, the plain, if you render the aronam, avaronam in terms of just the plain notes, uh, you just cannot identify it with todi whatsoever. Uh, right? So, if you sing... So, you know, this is more, uh, uh, this is closer to Sindhu Bhairavi than Todi. Um, so, that is Todi. So, what I sang before and this, they seem to barely have anything to do with each other. Um, Whereas on the other end of the spectrum, if you take some relatively light, I don't like that word, but for, for lack of a better term, uh, lighter ragas, like let's say Hamsadwani uh, or uh, Hamsanadam. Um, <clears throat> so, um, so I sang that pretty plain uh, without a lot of gamakams. Uh, it's quite close to the Hamsanadam ragam. And so going back to the point that uh, you know, the second reason for why one might claim that a particular song is not in a given raga might be that the prayogas and the gamakams are missing, although all the notes are there. Uh, so this is, as I said, this is lesser of a problem for some ragas and more of a problem for some other ragas. So as we'll see, Natakurunji is one of those ragas where this becomes a problem uh, because the Natakurunji scale is not, um, not very close to the Natakurunji Raga. It doesn't. The scale doesn't capture the character of Natakurunji Raga. So um, the third reason uh, for why one might claim that a particular song does not fit a particular raga is uh, the placement of the shadjam is ambiguous. So the ones of the reasons of interest here in this video will be the second and the third. So I'm not so interested in the first one, which was that the notes don't match up, right? So in this video, I'm going to be more interested in the second and the third. So um, now, this is how Natakurunji in the Carnatic idiom uh, goes, roughly. Kannamuchi-Enada were to authentically fit Natakurunji, in my view, uh, I would modify it to something like this. Kannamuchi-Enada Kannamuchi-Enada In kanna nan kanna di porul pola விடையே இல்லை இறுதியில் உன்னையே கண்டேன் 
இருதய போரு கண்டேன் இருதய உண்மை கண்டேன் இருதய போரில் கண்டேன் நவ் if raman had done this and if chitra had sung this whether it would have been as big of a hit um, is an open question probably the popularity of the song has something to do with the fact that it's not it doesn't sound that heavy so let's set that aside i'm not i'm not uh, you know making uh, i mean i'm not interested in that part uh, of the discussion so as i said i love the song as it sounds uh, right so i'm just talking about whether it fits the natakunji mold so in my view uh, if 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 um, if the claim that the song is in natakurunji has to be legitimate then it it would have to sound more like the way that i sang it so uh so this goes to the second reason that i listed right so you cannot say that kannamuchi is in natakurunji because it it lacks all the very very key uh characteristic prayogams and usages and phrases and phraseologies that natakurunji needs but here's the thing right if this were the only problem then i should perceive it uh, perceive the song as, uh, as you know as something belonging to the scalar version of natakuruji that is to say in the ballpark of harikamboj but i don't here's my explanation for why i don't perceive it even in the natakuruji scale or uh, you know the harikamboji ish scale the shad jam is ambiguous again in this song so uh, the way that the original goes kanna muchi ye nada that plain note right there in the very beginning so to me my brain interprets that as the shadja if you claim that it's not a kurunji in that shruti these would be the notes sa ni da ma re ma ma ga ma ba re sa sa ma ga ma da ma da ni sa but i don't perceive it like that right because i don't perceive it as in the in the natakurunji pitch or shruti at all so the way i hear the notes because i interpret that first flat note as my shadjam so the notes uh, go something like this pa ma ga sa da sa sa ni sa ri da pa sa ni sa ga sa ga ma pa sa ni pa sa ni pa sa ni pa ni sa sani pa sani pa sani pa ni sa sani sa ni ni sa ni pa ni sa sani pa sa ma ga so you know like that so what scale do you get if you take uh, the madhyamam of harikamboji as your shadjam the scale that you get is the major scale or the scale of shankarabharana so the way i perceive the song always you know since the very first time i heard it the way i naturally perceive it uh is in the sort of rough shankarabharanam scale so this is why i think it's a kind of a double whammy to the claim that the song is in natakurunji so a it's lacking the 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 needed the required prayogas and gamakas of natakurunji and b the shadjam is ambiguous so here's the thing what you achieve by retuning the line as follows kannamuchi nada yen kanna na a it gives a very clear picture of natakurunji because of the phrase right and b you're not giving the impression that that note corresponding to the da of yenada is your shadjam because of the oscillation there right ye nada if you do that that's not natakurunji at all right sani da mari mama you don't sing that in natakurunji you have the ga in between re ga ma so if you do that then you don't really have to worry as much as the composer uh, about uh, unambiguously conveying where the sa is because the 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 prayogas take care of that for you right so the the prayoga sort of unambiguously established that okay this is not a kurunji so you don't have to worry about you know the shadjam that is more more of an issue in general generally speaking for scale ragas for so called rakti ragas the prayoga should be enough to help the listener identify what raga it is but here because the prayogas are not clear 
the shutdown placement becomes uh, you know important here if you at least want the listener to perceive it in the ballpark of natakurunji so since both are not happening here i have never really uh, you know perceived uh, kannamuchi and adda to be in uh, natakurunji and a very interesting uh, very very fascinating uh, thing about natakurunji that's a very standard phrase right in natakurunji now as i mentioned a few minutes ago if you take the ma of harikambhoji as sa what you get is shankara the shankara varnam scale now if you take the ma of natakurunji as sa you should get some variant of shankara varnam right because natakurunji is a variant of harikambhoji interestingly what you get is glimpses of nilambari i want to say glimpses because definitely the whole ragam nilambari in all its glory is definitely not uh, you know recreated here but you do get some very very uh, fleeting glimpses of nilambari that's not a kurunji but if you stop at that madhyamam if you interpret that ma as sa you you get uh, it it sounds fleetingly like uh, nilambari magari damagasa right uh, so uh, vidushi gayatri of ranjini gayatri has uh, you know explained this and demonstrated it very very beautifully in uh, uh, in the music academy uh, lecture that she gave on the topic of grave vedam Uh, i'll link that as well in the description you know coming back to kannamuchi enada if the song in samshruti were truly not a kurunji with all the prayogams and all that uh then if you took the ma to be the sa then it should yield glimpses of nilambari but because kannamuchi enada is not a nada kurunji in the first place of course you don't get nilambari so uh, the ambiguity is between a harikambhoji kind of a scale and a shankara varnam kind of a scale right so um anyway so uh that's um uh, it for this video so you know here were my reasons for why i think kannamuchi enada is not a natakurunji uh let me know what you thought so until next time see ya